Hello caregivers, today I'm going to talk about some solutions I have for equipment buckles. Uh, we have a lot of equipment in our house that has multiple buckles in just one piece of equipment. Special things like the wheelchair, stroller, special needs chair, harnesses. Um, and usually they're black like this and it can be very overwhelming to know which, which buckle goes into which clip. So I have a solution that I'm testing out and I'm gonna go over it today. And it involves this, um, it's a paint pen. It, it's oil-based and it claims to work on anything. So I went ahead and bought a set of 12 colors. Um, it has a lot of light colors in it, such as white, uh, silver, gold, and the colors that I'm gonna test out today are this bright pink, this yellow and orange. Um, I'm going for bright colors because most clips do tend to be black on our son's equipment anyways. So I'm looking for, for something that marks very distinctly and very bright so it's easy to point out. Um, these pens uh, kind of act like spray paint in a way, in, in the way that it sets. I mean, it, it is a pen, uh, you shake it, and then you take the cap off and it looks like this. Ooh. <laughs> it looks like this. Um, and then you just mark the object. I've already pre-marked an object. It's a buckle. I have a spare buckle. And I went ahead and put orange, yellow, and pink on it. So this is a very shiny buckle. Um, so, uh, things tend to scratch off of it. Um, I've also tried this method of marking clips using duct tape, but the duct tape kind of starts to peel off after a while. So um, I thought this might be a nice method. I also went ahead and on the reverse side, took some sandpaper and sanded it down. I used a really rough grade sand over here and a slightly finer grain of sandpaper up here. So first I'm just going to show you what it does on just a, a shiny surface like a buckle. Um, so it is definitely very high contrast. Uh, the idea is that if you color um, both ends, color match them, it then makes it easier to say, oh, this buckle goes with this clip. So you know that they go together. Um, so I'm just going to use my fingernail and kind of scratch through it and um, you can see it it's holding up fairly well. Um, not perfect of course you can see the scratch lines are coming through and over time I'm pretty sure it will come off eventually um, but I think it will take a little while before it comes off completely. On the reverse side, so up here I have a uh, lightly sandpaper. So let's just go ahead and give it a scratch. Definitely think it's working a lot better with a lightly sand. Um, and then down here I did a, a, fine, a, a much stronger grade of sandpaper. So giving it a scratch again. Yeah, it's definitely staying better. So you can kind of see if you just want to apply it to your buckles without doing any sandpaper, it probably won't stay on for as long. It depends how rough you are with, with this and how many things it might scratch on. Um, if you're working on with equipment that is going to have heavy use, you might consider just using a, some sort of sandpaper just to rough up that surface. It'll help keep um, the paint on. So that's my recommendation. Um, these pens seem to work really well. Um, they go on easily. Uh, they have only a very faint smell. I would still probably do it in the garage and not in the house and let it dry. Um, but I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. I like that it's really high contrast color and um, it definitely works better than my duct tape method did. Um, so again, this is the product that I that I got. You can find it on Amazon. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.